Good morning guys. So, it is 6.30 on a Saturday. <laughs> and we are up with little man. Um, yeah, Gary's asleep, gone trying to sleep. We, this is usually a typical Saturday, so I thought, why not just take you through this? Um, so, we're gonna chill for about an hour, and then we're gonna head to the gym for about eight o'clock. Um, so, I don't know. This is what a day, a Saturday, of a dad slash bodybuilder looks like. We're gonna start off by changing this guy's butt, and then we are going to have a drink, wake ourselves up, and then soon go to the gym. Okay. This is, this is it, like, this is a Saturday. This is dad life, parent life. Hey. Let's say good morning to Grayson properly first. Mm -hmm. Say hello, Grayson. Say hello. Grayson's still trying to wake up. Hi, how are you going to change your bum bum? How are you going to change your bum bum? Yes. Yeah, massive. It's full as hell. You getting all that milk, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's because you had all that milk. There we go. <sighs> One clean baby. You're in a happy mood now, aren't you? <laughs> he's not. He's not interested. So he thinks of you guys. Okay, so quick update. I'm not going to the gym now. It's already eight o'clock. Um, Karis, thanks Karis. I did to have a little bit longer of a line. So um, we've got a busy day. We're actually gonna go view a potential new flat that we're looking to move into. So I'm gonna go train afterwards. So for now, we're gonna put Grayson down to bed. We're gonna clean up, we're gonna get ready. Then we're going to head off, and then I'm going to train later, right? Maybe I'll show you what I have for breakfast and how my nutrition has changed. Typically, I would have whey isolate and some dextrose, like, before my workouts when I'm training, like, so early. But now, seeing as I'm training a little bit later, I'm probably going to have a double scoop of whey protein, some sort of carb source, I really don't know what, um, and then I'm going to eat again, probably have that whey isolate and dextrose, maybe before my actual session, given I might not be able to have a proper... <laughs> light is crap. We have breakfast, which is all of this. Okay, so we have coffee, fruit, toast, and two scoops of protein. And this is going to be our breakfast. A few things maybe to mention here. One is instant coffee gets a bad rap. Trust me, instant coffee is fine, right? Fruit, we're just trying to get more fiber in throughout the day. It's something I've lacked for a long time. So this is about equivalent to about two to three portions of fruit which is gonna be good. Toast, obviously for carbs, and then two scoops of protein for a nice big chunk in the old protein synthesis early in the morning. Again, something I'm struggling to get in is more protein. Um, my diet right now has me 
aiming for 220 grams of protein. This is about 50 grams right here. It's gonna make the rest of the day a lot easier by having this relatively early, okay? So yeah, so unplanned breakfast. I'm supposed to be in the gym, but hey, things change. I think one thing about being a bodybuilder and a dad is you just have to roll with the punches, right? You have to, you have to be flexible. Uh, in how you approach things. I think the more rigid you are, the more stressed it's going to be. So we take a bit more flexibility in our approach. So, which isn't too bad, right? I get to train later on in the day, which means I have more energy, better workout. So you've got to find the positives in this situation. The other thing to mention, which is really important, when you do like the whole vlog thing and you do a montage of all the food, one thing don't people don't mention, right, is your food goes cold, right? Like give me 15 minutes to like do this and this, toast right here is not going to be very nice it's already very cold so if you if you've got this far in the vlog please go and like this video just as a more sympathetic like than anything else because i'm now about to eat some cold toast <laughs> We are back um, from our little outing of viewing a potentially new flat. More on that maybe in the future, but for now we are about to head off to the gym. Um, I've not actually eaten anything since breakfast, so we're going to have a quick sort of pre slash during shake-ish. Um, so what we've got is the clear way isolate from my protein. So. This is really good because it's not it's like a juice more so than a milkshake um, and the fact that it's isolated digests a bit quicker so it's something that I can have relatively close to workouts without experiencing some any digestion issues or starting to feel sick unless it's on leg day that's the only time where I need to be careful with my portion sizes um, so this sort of is really good during my early morning workouts or like now where I need a burst of protein but sort of too close to the workout, right? Um, I can't afford to just have a meal and then go to the gym in like three hours, right? For carbs, 100% glucose. We're gonna have about 20 grams of that. And then we're gonna add some beta alanine, about three grams. Um, purpose for this, probably not gonna do much, but it can sometimes be useful during sort of high repetition sets. Um, and to be honest, it was cheap. I just take it just in case, but to be honest, I've not really experienced any any major benefit. So this one, I can usually live without, but the other two are probably gonna help me quite a bit during this workout. So let's go. So welcome to the gym. Um, so this was a pull workout today where we're basically in week four, so everything is getting very difficult, right? So everything's been trained from anywhere from one rep in the tank to basically zero, and we're going to failure. So on the rows, we actually went to failure, uh, technical failure. We could have done more with a bit more hip thrusting, but we're trying to keep the technique as strict as possible, which you'll see in the video is, 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 a, is a lot more difficult than uh, I give credit for. It's, it was definitely tough to, to sort of stick with that. Also on the plan is assisted pull-ups. Unfortunately, going to the gym later in the day, which sucks, meant the assisted pull-up machine was taken. Um, so I ended up having to do two sets of normal pull-ups before then going on to the assisted pull-up machine, which wasn't too bad. The rep range I'm working in is like seven to 10 anyway. So 
I managed to get a set of seven and a set of, I think, five for uh, the pull-up. So, yeah, uh, body weight is quite high, so strength on the pull-up is definitely quite low. Uh, and then we moved on to higher reps on the machine row, which was tough, right? So I'm actually filming this the next day, and my back is actually really sore, which, is, um, which isn't too bad of a sign, but again, if you just look around in the background of the gym, you'll see just how busy it is. Um, and that just goes to show like how much I'm, I prefer training first thing in the morning. Yes, you got a little bit less food in you, but man, having an empty gym or even when the people are in the gym, it's usually familiar faces. You never really have to worry about bloody what machine to get on and all that good stuff. So definitely prefer training earlier in the morning. But anyway, yeah, we uh, we did back and then we moved on to biceps, uh, just four sets of curls here. Um, not my favorite bicep exercise, if anything, it gives me a bit of forearm pain, but I mean, to be fair, it does seem to be working. And I'm actually only doing a total of seven to eight sets of bicep work a week, which is a lot less than what I've been doing. Um, but you know what, like it's still been paying off. Like I've, I've, I've been very surprised at sort of the, the amount of work I can still get done in just that little little few sets. So um, yeah, definitely getting more out of less with uh, with some of my workouts and putting more energy into the the compound lift. So maybe I'll do a video sort of walking you through my plan and uh, the plan me and my coach agreed, uh, which I may also go into a bit more detail next uh, next video as well. Once we did the curls, we then just finally finished off on dumbbell upright rows. Uh, I think at the beginning of this mesocycle, I was doing easy bar of my rows, but you know what, the wrist pain and the connection just wasn't that great, so we agreed to sort of switch it out to the dumbbell of row, which looks better and definitely feels better as well. And yeah, so that was the workout. It was, uh, we did three sets of this, four sets of curls, three sets of machine rows, three sets of pull-ups, and then four, three sets of bent over rows. So um, quite a high volume workout. Um, but very very intense and it's only going to get more intense so yeah this um it was a good session but yeah at, like i said training in the mornings is so much better um but one thing you got to think about right is i think as a bodybuilder we can get so caught up into having these uh being so rigid right with our with our approach um and i found that the best thing that you can do is appreciate the flexibility and sort of I think I've said this before but just roll with the punches right like you saw that okay I plan to train at 8 a.m this morning so I have my nutrition sort of already at least thought out to some degree had to switch that up not a problem at all and it's just um, you just have to be flexible and and sort of adjust as and when um, because to be honest you're not going to get far in this uh, over the course of 5 10 15 years if you just simply stick to a strict schedule all the time right you've got to you've got to have some degree of flexibility and to be honest don't stress too much when when things change right you're still going to get the workouts done as long as you get the food in as long as you get your calories in you're covering off 90 percent of it right so worry about that before you start stressing over the the intricacy of the details um but yeah guys like when you're when you work full time when you have a family and you still want to bodybuild, you've got to have some flexibility, right? So don't don't stress too much, focus on the basics, and you'll be just fine. Alright, that's where we're gonna cap off this video. So if you liked it, this this was a very crap video, I'm gonna admit it right now. So if you made it this far, please give it a like. Just out of sympathy. Uh, I'm gonna make the next video look probably hopefully a little bit better, a little bit more structured, a little bit nicely flowing. So um, but yeah, appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.